And anyone who's had the flu knows it can knock you out for days. Schools and daycares often want kids to stay home until they are fever free for 24 hours. And that had Patrick from Minnetonka wanting to know how long are we contagious? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. Like most open plan offices, you can hear coughing pretty easily. It's not hard to figure out who's sick. We buy a hand sanitizer by the case. At Meet Minneapolis, they just ask you, please stay home. I don't think anybody wants to see me here if, if they know I'm feeling badly. So if I have to go home early, uh, people appreciate that because we're very flexible in that regard. How do you decide, should I go to work? Well, if you have a fever, when you're coughing a lot, if you're still having lots and lots of runny nose, terribly achy, you should definitely stay at home because that means you're probably at your most contagious. Dr. Stacy Maruschek is a pediatric infectious disease specialist. So when you're sick, how long are you contagious? Well, it does depend a little bit on the virus. I think it's definitely longer than what people think. Influenza, you actually are contagious a day or a day and a half before you even get sick with a fever, which is why it actually gets spread. It's a very smart virus. The flu's fever can last three to five days. You're usually shedding for up to about four to seven days after your fevers go away. Colds vary far more widely, but on average we are usually is about uh, shedding for about four to eight uh, days after uh, the symptoms start to get better. With a cold, are you staying home for four to five days? No. Probably not. Oh, I think you have to you have to balance it out. No, but you should be very careful about washing hands. Dr. Marushek says wash often and for at least 20 seconds, which is how long it takes to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear mom. Or one chorus of truth hurts. Truth hurts me to something more exciting. Or the time it would take to walk a quarter of a block. Or how long it's been since the doctor first mentioned you need to wash your hands. But even 24 hours after your fever is over, you're still contagious. You are still contagious, but you know, it's it's a balance between um, decreasing shedding and work productivity. Especially in a smaller office, it spreads pretty quickly. So, wash your hands and cough into your elbow and, Heather Brown. and all those things that your mother to tells you about. WCCO 4 News. As for the 24 hour rule after a fever, the doctor said that's when a child is most contagious. Good news though, kids usually feel better after the fever breaks. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going through WCCO.com slash links. Might get worse when we're all kind of in cramped quarters this weekend. Was that you singing happy birthday in the men's room, by the way? Earlier? That was That me. was you. Yeah. Very good. 20 I, seconds worth. I was actually singing Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you.